News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at uh, the Dow futures down 114 at 33,625. If during my show, which is I just recorded from 8 to 9, if it's it replayed at 10 to 11, if the Dow is only down 115 or better, it says that, the, that with options and futures expiration, there's a little wiggling going on. I don't want to see after three o'clock, uh, so after 1.30, uh, the Dow uh, start to fail from a rally attempt and then go weak. I'd rather have it weak and getting stronger going into the afternoon. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, that's the uh, YM, the E-mini is trading down uh, 21, much deeper actually, 4,078. It's got 4,044. The Dow must hold 33,400s today. The QQQ, which is the NDX 100, uh, is trading down 301. Uh, is that two? 301.19 down 211. <clears throat> Stuck in a little bit of a range, but it could make that H pattern if it takes out 297 in the next two days. You're going to watch this closely. There is there is buying. There's rotational buying and selling going on at the same time. But it's very selective. Look at the IWM. Why does it keep doing that? IWM, 191.83, down 79, actually holding very much better. And the weekly chart is actually improving a lot. We're looking at gold. Uh, gold came back from the lows of the day, but it's still down 15 at 18.36. It, it's sitting on the 200 period moving average. It went under. The technicals are still pretty weak. Looking at the dollar, the dollar is doing the opposite. It's rallying. It's up 45 ticks at 104.48. It try, it's going to try to hit the 104.74 200 period moving average. And how it handles that in the next few days is important because look what happened when it did that before around in January. It just touched the 200 period moving average and then plummeted. In this case, all the technicals are already improving for the dollar. Looking at crude oil, crude oil is trading uh, down sharply, down 262 at 76.12 in the lower range. And if you're looking at the TLT, I did that little show, a bit in my show to show that the TLT is making an arch formation. If you look at the TBT, which is the inverse, uh, it's making a cup formation, and it says the 32s, it's the 3146. 32s could be hit in the next uh, by, in next week. So have a wonderful rest of the day. Watch the volatility index. It's trading at uh, 20.88. If it goes to 21.50, the selling will in increase. If it starts to go under 21, it helps the market. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Be a little bit careful. We've raised cash. That's important. See you on Tuesday. Stay tuned.